Now, friends, here we take a revision of chapter number one, and here is the first question here related to your chapter number one, knowing our numbers. This is a page number fourteen, and it's a question number two. So now here are two tables are given here, Roman stocks and their sales during the last year. There are some prices given here, the different items and prices of these items, and how much amount of sold by the Roman stock. So now the first question is. Can you find the total weight of apples and oranges Roman sold last year? So what we do here? Here first we write the weight of apples. So what is the total weight of apples here? 2,457 kilogram. So here we write 2,457 kilogram. Right. After that we write weight of oranges. So what are the total weight of oranges here? 3,400 kilogram. So here we write 3,400 kilogram. Now after that. Here we add these two amount here, right? The total weight of apples and total weight of oranges. Now after that, here we write 2,457 kilogram plus 3,400. Now we add these two amount here, right? 2,457 plus 3,400. Now here we get 3 plus 4, 11. One, one carry here. Five plus one six. Here we write four plus zero four as it is there. Two plus three five. So here we get five thousand four hundred sixty one. So here we write five thousand four hundred sixty one kilograms. Now here we write the total weight of oranges and apples equal to five thousand four hundred sixty one kilograms. So because students, we already told you. First we write the given values here. After that, we in the middle of these two lines we have to solve. Write the solution of this question, and after that we write the final statement. Right? So this is the final statement as an answer. The total weight of oranges and apples equal to 5,461 kilograms. Then here we solve the second question here. Can you find the total money the one got by selling apples? So what we do here? First we write the total amount of apples. What is the total amount of apples here? 2,457 kilograms. Right? And what is the cost of one kilogram apples? So cost of one kilogram apples equal to 40 kilograms. 40 rupees per kilogram, right? So what we do here? Here we multiply these two amount 2,457 multiplied by 40, and after that here we get value multiplied these two amounts. Here we get 98,280. So here we say that the total amount and the total money got by selling the man selling by apples 98,280. Let me solve the question number three. C part of this question. Can you find the total money? Raman got by selling apples and oranges together. So these all details are given in these board tables. So first we write the total apples, right? Total amount of apples equal to 2,457 kilogram. Now cost of one kilogram apple is equal to 40 rupees. Now what we do here? We find the total cost of these apples. Okay. So here we multiply these both numbers 2,457 multiplied by 40. Here we get. 98,280. The total cost of apples. After that, here we write the total oranges equal to 3,004 kilograms. Now here we write the cost of one kilogram oranges equal to 30 rupees. After that, here we multiply to find total cost of oranges is equal to 3,004 multiplied by 30 rupees. Now we get 90,120 rupees. Now we find the total money Raman got by selling apples and oranges. So we add these both amounts: total cost of apples and total cost of oranges. Now we add these both amounts, so we get one lakh eighty-eight thousand four hundred rupees. Let me take question number first from exercise number one point two. Question number first: a book exhibition. Question is a book exhibition was held for four days in a school. The number of tickets sold at the counter on the first, second, third, and final day was respectively the first day equal to 1,094 tickets, second day 1,812 tickets, third day 
2050 tickets and a final day 2751 tickets. Now here we find the total number of tickets sold on all the four days. So what we do here, here first we write the first final, uh, first statement here, introductory statement here. Second day, 1,800 plan tickets. Third day, equal to 2,050 tickets. And a final day, equal to 2751 tickets now students here we add these all tickets here and we get the total number of tickets so now we add these all numbers here 4 plus 2 6 plus 1 7 9 plus 1 10 plus 5 15 and 15 plus 5 20 0 to carry here 8 plus 2 10 plus 7 17 7 1 carry here 1 2 3 3 plus 2 5 5 plus 2 7 here we get 7707 tickets and here we write The total number of tickets sold on all the four days is equal to seven thousand seven hundred seven. And students, you will solve question number 10. Okay? Question number 10 from exercise number 1.2 by yourself. Okay, question number 10 from exercise number 1.2 by yourself. Okay? Now, students, here we take some questions related to rounding off numbers. Round off number 3 crore 25 lakh 63,245. Nearest 10, nearest 100, nearest 1000, nearest lakh and nearest crore. How we take a round of these numbers here? Like, first we take round of nearest 10. So what we do here, here first we write places of this number. 1 stands 100,000, 10,000 lakh, 10 lakh and crore. Now, the digit, the required place is 10, right? So this is a 10's place. And here students, you all know that here is one rule we discuss here. If the digit on the right hand side of the required place is equal to 5 or greater than 5. So what we do here, here we add one with required place. Like this digit is greater than 5 or sorry equal to 5. So what we do here, here we add 4 plus 1, 5 and we write other digit as it is here. Like 3 comma 2, 5, 6, 3, 2 and 4 plus 1, 5. And this digit replaced by 0. The right hand side digit replaced by 0. 
Now we take nearest hundred. The digit in a hundred place is two here. On the right hand side digit is four. And four is smaller than five. So what we do here? Here we write this digit as it is here. And the other digit on a required place right hand side we place by zero. Now here we write three comma two five comma six three. Comma two, write as it is here, and then in the place of four and five, we write zero here. Now nearest thousand. So the digit in the thousand place is three here, right? And the digit on the right hand side of the required place is two, and two is smaller than five. So what we do here? Here we write three as it is here, and the other digit on the required place is replaced by zero. Now we write three comma two five comma six three, and this digit is replaced by zero. Now nearest lakh. The digit in a lakh place is five. On the right hand side, digit is six, and six is greater than five. So what we do here? Here we add five plus one, six. And the other digit on the right hand side, required place, replaced by zero. And the digit left hand side, right as it is here. Three comma two, then five plus one, six. And the other digit replaced by zeros. Now we take round down nearest crore. Now this place. The required digit, the required place digit is three here, and on the right hand side is two. On the right hand side is two here, right? So what we do here? Here we write the digit as it is here. Three, and the other digit replaced by zero. So now, student, by using this method, you find the nearest ten, hundred, thousand, and lakh, and the other places also. Okay